the accusation is not going to sit well with the man who calls himself a very stable genius, who loves to brag about how smart he is. One who, let's remember, had this to say about the object of his obsession, the former president, Barack Obama. He had lousy marks in school and he got into Harvard on a scholarship. Explain that one. By the way, I have friends that have kids that have all A's, that have the highest aptitude test, they can't get into Harvard. They can't get into Wharton either, by the way, which I'm very proud to tell you. But they can't get into Harvard. <laughs> well, the man is a pathological liar. And now, for the first time, a direct family member is producing the receipts. Excerpts are coming out from Mary Trump's tell-all book, and some of the revelations are lurid. President Trump and other family members have unsuccessfully tried to block publication of their niece's upcoming book, Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man. Here are six of the most shocking revelations from the soon-to-be-released tell-all book. Remember when Trump runs the birther campaign against President Obama, demanding that he show his grades? Now we know why. According to Mary Trump, Donald Trump paid a proxy as a high schooler to take the SAT on his behalf, and that high score helped the future president get into the University of Pennsylvania's prestigious Wharton Business School, which he boasted was super genius stuff. This is the same stable genius who threatened schools to hide his grades. I'm talking about a man who declares himself brilliant, but directed me to threaten his high school, his colleges, and the college board to never release his grades or SAT scores. Mary Trump, who's a clinical psychologist, believes her uncle displays all nine clinical criteria for narcissism, but wrote that he likely suffers from a variety of additional mental or psychological disorders that explain his behavior. Donald has been institutionalized for most of his adult life, she wrote, so there is no way how he would thrive or even survive on his own in the real world. As a boy, Donald Trump learned to lie to boost his standing in the eyes of his domineering father, Fred Trump, who disdained weakness and owning up to mistakes. By limiting Donald's access to his own feelings and rendering many of them unacceptable, Mary Trump wrote, Fred perverted his son's perception of the world and damaged his ability to live in it. Fred Trump rejected his namesake son, Mary's father, and the family sent Fred Trump Jr. to the hospital to die alone from an alcohol-related heart attack in 1981 when he was 43. Donald Trump instead went to the movies, she wrote. The future president cruelly tormented his younger brother Robert Trump for his perceived weakness and repeatedly hid his favorite toys. Donald Trump pretended he didn't know where the Tonka trucks were, and when his brother threw a tantrum, he threatened to dismantle the trucks in front of him if he didn't stop crying. Page 169 of Mary Trump's new book, um, it is a little bit unnerving to read about how the president threatened to disown his own son if his son joined the military. Quote, when my brother Fritz and I pointed out that all our cousins would still benefit from the will, our uncle Rob, Robert Trump, the president's younger brother, told us, quote, any of them could be disowned at any time. Donnie, meaning Donald Trump Jr., was going to join the army or some BS like that, and Donald and Ivana told him if he did, they'd disown him in a second. President threatening to disown his son if he joined the military. Mary Trump describes her grandfather as a high-functioning sociopath and says the future president was warped by the abuse heaped on Fred Trump Jr. by their father and their mother's serious illness when he was a toddler. Having been abandoned by his mother for at least a year and having his father fail not only to meet his needs, but to make him feel safe or loved, valued or mirrored, Donald suffered deprivations that would scar him for life. Well, most of us with basic common sense have seen the dunce and incompetence oozing from this man's every move. This is why he speaks constantly in the third person, and his speeches sound like a rambling drunk at Six Flags. The presidency has clearly overwhelmed this dingbat. This November, it's America or Trump.
late now I remember every